Good evening everybody, welcome back to Contest of Speed EU2. We're live from Bahrain this evening for round six of the championship. We're over the halfway point-ish uh, when we get halfway through tonight's race in this shorter season. So everything's still to play for, it's still wide open, but they'll all be trying something. Now's the time to make your move, you've had the cautious start, or you've had the Banzai start. Not sure which for some of these guys, if I'm honest. But we'll see how we go. Joel's next to me. Not Good literally. Evening. Not literally, obviously. We're not allowed to do that. Yeah, not yet. Soon. Soon. Yeah. Soon. And first out on track, I believe, is one of the Red Bulls. I think so as well. Uh, no, Tom Robbo, Alpha Tauri. Uh, Closely same followed same. by a Red Bull. Yeah, it is, isn't it, really? So, whilst we're waiting for him to go around the track, let's do some housekeeping. Two drivers missing tonight, that is both McLarens. Uh, Perez, of course, serving a race ban after he had a... a uh, well, a catastrophic week um, last time out, I think it's fair to say. So, yeah. yeah, so he's missing, and the other one is the wizard who has been unable to do the update for uh, for F1 so far tonight. Um, I don't know if we're going to get a replacement in for him or not. I don't think so, um, but I will see what I can do before the end of qualifying. Uh, in other news, reserve wise, we've got Mars filling in for Matrix, who is unavailable. And then we've got Vapor Wizzy taking over from Jonathan Cox in the Mercedes on a permanent basis for the time being. Uh, Jonathan Cox unable to commit to racing at the moment. So we welcome Wizzy. Performed well in the past, so I'm excited to see how he gets on. I've just left Tom Robber because he's got the rev glitch. So we're now on board with Milan. Oh. So he goes for his first lap of the evening. Still can't fix the glitches that really need fixing, can they? Mm -mm. No, they can't. Never mind ones about racing on track. We want commentary glitches fixed. Um, I think, task-wise, that's everything. And housekeeping-wise, that's everything just about done. So we've got 18 drivers, possibly 19, um, ready to go. What, well, I don't know how this is going to go, Joel, do you? I know we did pre-season here, but... Yeah, pre-season was, if I remember, very entertaining. and It was not carnage, but it was close, too, with a lot of drivers really throwing everything at it. So if we can get something like that today, then perfect. Yeah, um, of course, Matrix not being here tonight, that's one of the potential challenges out of the window. Uh, but we've still got plenty who can uh, who can make that charge. Yeah, so uh, we will have one here when we last raced in pre-season. So uh, he'll be looking to get some points on the board because he certainly needs to start doing that if he wants to get himself towards the top of the championship. Yeah, he does. He's had a couple of weeks away through multiple uh, reasons. Um, but he's starting off strong here. 125.1, uh, yeah, which Not is. Which would have put him P2 yesterday, I think, wouldn't it? Uh, near enough, yeah. Maybe yeah. P3. It was pretty close. And then Arbar in second, and Thomas, first race in a long time for him in the Sister Alpha Towery. In, now in fourth place as Jamie puts his Mercedes into second. Yeah, so Milan taking a, an early lead, but Tom Robbo not being able to complete his first flying lap. And I think Snipes is just about to cross the line with us P2. Two, two tenths off Milan, so a fairly big gap for the banker laps, but we'll have to see how it plays out. As Vapor Wizzy, a 24-9. First man tonight into the 24s. That puts him very close to yesterday's pole time. Yeah, that's very impressive. And 
I knew it was quick, but I wasn't quite expecting that off the start, I have to mm. say. It certainly adds another dynamic into it. it certainly does. Uh, we're watching Timmy where to next now as he comes around to start his lap. And I think, Joel, Timmy is the ideal candidate to go on board with and do a lap. What do you think? What, for, for me to do it? No, I'll do it. Oh, good stuff. Yes, so fair enough. Right, Timmy then heading down the start finish straight. We can see the timing data on our screens. Down into turn one, heavy braking zone for that hairpin right. Kink back through to the left of two, and then that gentle right hand curve of three into the second of three DRS zones around this circuit. Turn four, need to be careful on the power on the exit. Very easy to spin, as we've seen a number of people do over the years into five, six and seven and the hairpin of turn eight. Up the hill now, over the crest, down the hill into turn nine and then the hairpin of turn ten. Very difficult braking zone, handled well by Timmy. Second DRS zone then along this inside straight, pit complex on the right hand side. Turn ten, need to brake more than you'd think for it. It's got, an, got it's, uh, an adverse camber. Turn 11, also known as blank curve. We'll be looking to see who takes, uh, who it takes rather, as the, its first victim tonight. Yesterday it was Charlie, I think, who uh, was. Yeah, it was. Who, was, who it came a cropper? Mm -hmm. Timmy then into the final two corners. Yep, that's two corners, believe it or not. Uh, start, finish straight, and then. DRS zone across the line. How did he do? 25.3 for Timmy. Not bad at all. Not bad at all, no. Puts in P4. The Ferrari's pretty close together as they have been all season, pretty much. Mm. So, Acquisition, that's Don Ammo. Been part of COS for a long time. Has now taken that step to representing us uh, at an eSports level. Comes along with the prefix of E cos oh, oh and he's gone we spun he kept it out of the wall though uh, yeah that's, but it's one of the things with Bahrain though isn't it? yeah it's one of the things with Bahrain you've uh, got a lot of those traction zones that are really difficult to try and get the power down in if you, especially if you're not using traction control like plebs like me <laughs> who need everything to help them. Sorry, I shouldn't say that, but I, I, I do. Yeah. Um, Ricky in P12, by the way, on the medium tyre with a 26.1, which would indicate to me, if he's willing to go out on that set, that he's probably looking at a one-stop race. Yeah, and we've completely missed it, but Tom Rubber has gone P1 mm -hmm. with a 24.7, which... Trump's Herald's poll time last night of a 24-9. So Certainly does. Uh, Arbar then, currently P9. First man to go for a second run from the Renault team. Uh, Mars still in the pits, of course. Yeah, I think the strategy around here is quite an interesting one, I think. You can make a soft hard work as we saw in E3 with the likes of Charlie getting himself up in P4 mm -hmm. on those hard tyres, but at the same time if you've got the speed you can certainly make a two stop work, so it will be interesting yeah. to see yeah. what the drivers do. Um, I think the further forward you are, the more likely a two stop is to work out for you. Um, yeah. Further back, you're probably looking at a one stop being the most beneficial, and we've got a car that's gone round. That's Thomas at blank curve. Uh, Alpha Tauri's eh? Mm. What is it? Minor wing, well, quite severe wing damage actually by the look of it, but uh, no retirement for uh, for Thomas. As Alba goes into fourth, 25.2. Yeah, improvement of four tenths thereabouts. Mm. Not bad at all. And on your request, Joel, I think you know who we're going to be looking at next when he comes around to start his lap. Ah, is it a uh, certain Williams driver? It is, yes! And <laughs> I know he's listening. 
I can't remember why oh, you wanted to do this, but... Uh, I believe it was something to do with FIFA. Ah. Well, we'll leave it there then. Let's jump across to him. As he goes through. It takes a very well. wide line at blank curve there. <laughs> Let's hope he's not nervous. No, I mean, he is on his outlap, of course, so he'll be trying to keep it out of the wall. Uh, I've noticed it not had very much practice this week. Had a had a disrupted program uh, before the race tonight, so he'll be looking to try and salvage what he can. Yeah. In pre-season, I think he had a bit of an unfortunate spin coming out of the final corner, which ruined what could have been a good start. So. Mm. In U2 yeah. for him. Because a little bit deep at turn one, but that's not a problem. You can make that work. We head down first sector then as we come through turns four and five. This little kink to the left, 27.9 for Matt. That puts him half a second down on the leaders. Yeah. Off and over the crest, down through nine and into ten. Pretty good exit from turn 10. Mm-hmm. And then let's ride on board through turns 11 and 12, our blank curve. Avoids that Let's curve nicely. As far away as possible. Mm-hmm. Middle sector for Matt was a 36.5, which is on par, actually, with some of the front runners. Maybe a tenth, tenth and a half down. Yeah, not so too bad. Comes across the start-finish line. Teammate in tow, literally. And I assume Matt... 5.7. Oh, oh well, they've hit each other! That's... No. Oh! Not ideal for the Williams team. Oh, we just caught the edge of that on stream. That's... Oh! Now, me and Matt tried something very similar at Brazil, and the same thing happened last season. And I got the blame for it, and I'm not taking it anymore. Because <laughs> he's the common denominator. <laughs> no, it's very unfortunate for the Williams guys. That's Don Armo going to be starting, to be honest, probably at the back of the pack, as the Wizard has now joined. So we will have a McLaren in this race. Uh, let's jump across then to Ricky. In the Haas. Haas looking to make it a second win from the week. I see the Herald doing it last night. Ricky and Emir will be looking for a strong showing tonight. Ricky having won here before, of course. Very strong around most circuits, if we're brutally honest. Um, he plays yeah. himself down, but he's a very, very tough competitor, as we always seem to be saying whenever we talk about Ricky. Yeah, he's certainly proved himself so far in this tier as he probably be looking towards EU1 next year. Next year, next season. Mm -hmm. Let's get a bit of a lock-up going into that turn. Through blank curve nicely down into 13, down the hill to 14 and 15 to finish the lap. See, this is his first run, I believe, on the soft tyre. Yeah, fastest so far is on the mediums. Yeah. He goes 14th. Not quick at all for Ricky. He's going to struggle to get back in and out again as well. Yeah, I saw him locking up a couple of times, but it didn't look like he lost, like, it was maybe three, four tenths at most. But that still puts him quite far off where he'd hoped to be. Hmm. And I don't, I mean, I know there's a little bit of a glitch with the qualifying clock for spectators, but I don't know whether he will quite have enough time to get in and out, so that could be Ricky. I don't think he will. It's going to take him at least two minutes to, uh, to be, once he's back in the garage, to get out and round again. And normally, can you give Wisey by another invite, Joel, just in case? as he's, yeah. he's gone. But, uh, 
it's going to take him at least two minutes and I wouldn't have thought normally our delay is going to be more than about 40, 45 seconds. Yeah, I've always thought it was about 45 seconds, yeah. And, and we'll try and judge it, but he, he's not pushing particularly hard on the inlap, so maybe Ricky's got something up his his wily old sleeves. Yeah, wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise it me, actually. He's, yeah. he's unpredictable. But for the likes of him and Don Amma, who possibly are not where they'd expect to be, this race is far from over because the... Oh, Ricky's going again. That's... That yeah, might, that'll that's, be why. That's the unexpected. He needs to be careful here because he's going to have a lot of traffic there. Yeah, certainly. Uh, people may be getting caught out thinking he's on an outlap. So we'll just have to hope that people get out of his way. Yeah, they have done. Uh, it's riding on board with the wizard who's managed to get himself in the lobby. He's going to have a lap on the board as well. I think he's backed out of it. Unless he's planning on going again when he gets round there. Um, I'm going to jump across to Titchy as well once he starts his lap in a few minutes' time. Yeah, and the wizard is going now for his. Titchy then into turn one. And he's gone at turn one. Facing the wrong way. And that's going to be his qualifying over. Let's jump yeah. back to his brother then, the wizard. The elder brother in the McLaren. No hands, a, uh, the interesting way of driving. One of the many glitches still in the game. Yes. It's a purple sector one according to the game, but <laughs> I don't think that's... I think that's a and personal purple. purple. It's a personal purple, I think, rather than a, a session ah, purple. Right, okay. uh, it's if it stays. If it flashes purple, it's personal. If it stays purple, it's uh, it's a session best. Ah, uh, you learn something new every day. Mm. Yeah, I've been doing this a long time. Too long. Actually, this is my fourth season commentating, believe it or not. Oh, oh I feel old. Oh, Ricky's he's there again. Look at where he is. Mm, prime position. P11, but I'm not too sure whether he'll stay there, if I'm being brutally honest, mm -hmm. with the likes of Matt on a lap. We'll have to see. Oh, back end getting squirmy for the McLaren out of the final corner. Wizard doing his best impression of the Mr. Roms. Those of you of a certain vintage will get that reference. I don't know how many that will be, though. <laughs> That might just prove how old I am. That's Arbar. Arbar's gone uh, off the track. At uh, turn seven. Oh! Uh, and Snipes has gone as well at turn seven, that and he's out. Massive. Uh, who's nearby? You all know nearby? There he is in the wall behind us. I was on board with Arbar, and I just saw Snipes come absolutely flying past him into the wall. Almost doing a flip as he. We can Make see contact. on the right hand side they just saw him vanish, Titchy out for another run. Yeah, and if he can just get a lap on the board, he will. Oh well he's got a lap on the board actually. Yeah, so he's gonna start ahead of Arbar and possibly ahead of the wizard as well, depending on how the game wants to treat him. And I believe he's run out of fuel. Vapor Wizzy does what looks to be provisional P1 for now. It certainly does, but there's one man who can session. stop him. Here, but he's invalidated, so he's boxing. Yona is up on his time, I believe. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, Yona improves, but not enough. enough. The Red Bull still coming three tenths in. behind. Emir is still with a corner to go, but he's not pushing. Emir is backed out. Yes, yeah, so that's hole for Vapor Wizzy on his... Full time debut in EU2, which is a mm. good way to start, that's for sure. Him and Tom Robert separated by half a tenth of a second, with Milan not too far behind either, so quite close for the top three. I'm just watching Emmy's car here, and that's down. That didn't go well. <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, great performance from Wizzy there, beating out Tom Robbo by 49 thousandths of a second. Oh.
kick a keyboard. Uh, with Milan in third, bringing up what could be actually quite a quite a tasty battle there. Those f well, that front five actually. Yes, yeah, certainly it's uh, it's the front five we sort of all expected would be seeing hmm. towards the start of the season, and this is the first time we've really seen them all come together and actually be the top five. So yeah. Hopefully, we'll be seen some good battles and Snipes from fourth he was you'd think he was going faster until he crashed so yeah, maybe he, he would have a few, few tenths in him possibly he could have been a man to take pole off Wizzy but as it stands it is the Mercedes man on pole position with a time of 124.748 seconds very quick time um, we'll be looking to see if he can make that count when it comes to race pace uh, top 10 of course have to start on the soft tyre, so that's the tyre they're qualified on, so the man in the prime position you'd say is actually Lewis in the racing point. Then Matt and yeah, then Ricky dropping to 13th. Yeah, he. but if he starts on those medium tyres and can get himself past Matt and Lewis then he can certainly still go on, maybe even get a podium depending on what the, the front runners decide to do for strategy. Possibly, yeah. Uh, it'll be interesting to see. Um, strategy wise we're looking probably well there's three three schools of thought for this one inside the top 10 you either want to go for a one or a two stop and that'll be either soft medium medium or soft straight to the hard tire until the end if you're outside the top 10 you're pr realistically you're looking at a one stop which is medium yeah the two medium hard medium hards yeah um, I think to be honest if I'm in the in the top five I'm going to be I'm going to be going for the soft hard. I don't think you're going to want to take too many unnecessary risks by going for that two stop. Because mm -hmm. when you're two stop, there's a lot of factors that can come into it with traffic and all that. So yeah, yeah. safety car at the so wrong time as well can ruin any advantage you would have had. Um, Certainly, can also bring you back into play, of course. So it's a give and take. Let's see what these guys have gone for. So then, as we head around for this formation lap, we've got all three compounds on show. Top ten, of course, starting on the tyres they're qualified on. That's the soft tyre in all ten cases. Outside the top ten, they've got free choice. They can start on whatever tyres they like. Uh, so that is Lewis, Matt, Ricky, Stumpy, Mars and Wisey Boy all on the medium tyre. Keeping their options open, there's a two-stop possibility there for them. Titchy, Don Amo and the Wizard all on the hard tyre. You would guess they're going to go for the one-stop soft medium. Yeah. Hard medium even. Hard medium even. They're not even why am I saying soft? Yeah, I think a soft medium will be a little bit ambitious. I know a man who could make it work, but he doesn't race with us anymore. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, starting on the hard tyres is you're certainly going to struggle at the start, but if you can keep your head in the game... Yeah, if they can Certainly keep themselves no within touching distance of particularly those medium runners oh, in front. Titchy's has gone, gone off the track and won the formation lap. Oh, that's not dear. a sign of things to come. Hmm. And, and Donamo's left the session. Left the session oh, that's two of the hard, uh, hard runners giving themselves an even <laughs> bigger disadvantage at the start of the race. Yeah, if I struggle at the start, that's not quite what I meant. Hmm. Donamo's not here. Titchy's tyres will be well icy cold and yeah, yeah Don Amo's uh, back in now so it's all good I think Titch will be looking to be within a second of the rest of the pack to be honest uh, after the first corners well we'll see if he's able to spin those rears up off the start he might be able to get some traction out of turn one so yeah. we'll see how it goes Vapor Wizzy then leading the pack around Starting to bunch them up a little bit. I think I'm going to go for a Milan Tom Robbo and Snipes podium. Oh, go he's going for it. All right, I am going to go for. Oh no, Don Amo's gone again. 
Uh, I'm going to go for a Wizzy Ricky Snipes. Mm, mix it up. Mm, I honestly, Ricky is the one I would. If I was actually going to put some money on who I think will win this race, he's currently starting in P13. But let's get ready. Five lights. They go out. We know the drill by now. We wait for the revs to build. And away we go in Bahrain. Good start from Wizzy. Tom Robbo looks like he's got a good one as well. Charging Tom Robbo takes the lead off Wizzy. Brilliant start from the Alpha Tauri. Down the inside into turn one. Can they all keep it clean? Looks like it. I don't think we've had anything on the board happen further back. But we've got a change at the lead. And we've got Jamie Arbar, and I think that's Wisey Boy going three wide. Knights Lewis up four places off the start. Great effort from him. Early on, two cars drifting there towards the back. That's Emir and someone else. Yeah, incredible start for the racing point. And on those mediums, that's going to do him wonders for a help of points in this race. But Tom Robert taking the lead off the start. He's used to getting three decent starts, and that one was certainly one of his best. Mm-hmm. Uh, Milan, Snipes and Yorno all holding position behind Wizzy. And it looks as though Tom Robbo is in peace out. He's trying to push, pull away here, but uh, Wizzy not having any of it. Turn back down. Yeah, Timmy all not. over the back of Ricky. Timmy with an awful start, down four places, but now all over the back. Off the hat in a hash sandwich, even with Emmy who's dropped down to P12. Yeah, and Ricky up from P13 to P10 off the start, so he's another one with a good start on those mediums, and that's going to do him wonders. Timmy think. currently running under fuel, goes to the side of Ricky. No DRS, of course, until lap three. Yeah, and Rick has been smart, he's just letting him go, and as the yeah. race will come back to him, eventually. Yeah. Timmy, of course, on those soft tyres. Big winners then, off the start. Oh, it's Lewis, up four places to P7. Uh, on the medium tyre as well. It'll be very interesting yeah, to see, and he's already out of the window to uh, Arbar ahead of him, so he could start to be dropping back significantly. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, um, however, Thomas with 6% wing damage is right behind him, so hopefully, as we've got a yellow, that's... that's I'm not sure oh, is that but Titchy? I think no, it's Titchy. Well, Matt's got wing damage from whatever it was, so I think it might have been Titch. Uh, maybe Titch has had a spun, and had a spun, had a spin, and uh, Matt's been an unfortunate yeah. guest. Casualty. Collateral damage. Yeah. Uh, and we're on board with Yorno then, coming down towards the final two corners behind Snipes. Harbar in tow. Big losers are Matt down five places, then Emir, Jamie, and Timmy down three. Yeah, that's some gap that the uh, top six have already formed. That's the racing point of Lewis. And yeah, and that's that's going to be the main problem for all those guys behind on the soft tyres. So Thomas, Jamie, Timmy, Emir. Those guys, as Jamie gets past Thomas, actually they're fighting for, uh, for P8. And that's going to allow Timmy to join in the fight. Yeah, Timmy burning a lot of ERS already down to 50%. He's going to go round the outs. No, he's not. The Mercedes is going to hold it. Squeeze Timmy a little bit, and James going to keep the position going down the hill. Some good side-by-side -side racing there. Timmy could try it, not quite locks up on the entry, but Jamie goes oh, deep. James gone deep. Like a side-by-side -side through nine and ten. Timmy with the wider line, so may be able to get the slingshot out of it, but uh, Jamie defends well. Yeah, Timmy gave Jamie a little bit of a tap on the rear there, going down to turn 10, so... That ruined his braking line a little bit, but it's your Thomas now, you've got to be... got to be thinking to burn a lot of ERS if you need to, to get past this racing point here, because... To be frank, he needs to, if he wants yeah. to... Wants more points. Of course, he will have DRS, as we come across at the start-finish line this time around. 
He's definitely within the window. This should be a relatively easy move for him. He is burning now as Jamie Pitts. Interesting. Uh, he didn't have any damage that I could see on the task. He's going to go to the medium, so he's committing to that two-stop strategy. And if yeah. he thinks he can make it work by pushing in this clean air, then... That could be. We'll keep an eye on him as Snipes and Milan are fighting now. Thomas is having to defend from Lewis on the counter attack. Goes round the outside, the racing point. Wing damage to the Alpha Tower. He could prove crucial. And Lewis backs out of it, thinks better of it. Snipes has got yeah. himself ahead of Milan for third place. And is now setting his sights on Vapor Wizzy. Yeah, so the, the front two have hardly touched their ARS buttons by the look. Well, I say burning a little bit now, but they're still, you know, hanging around the 80% mark, whereas Snipes has burned himself all the way down to 40. So yeah, trying to get himself to hit Milan. Tom Robber quite chilling at the moment. Mm. Uh, Lewis now in the DRS window of Thomas in front, who himself has wing damage. Could be a very beneficial place for him to be. We'll have to wait and see yeah. further in the race. Jamie, of course, now 13 seconds off the back of the pack, uh, but I would expect him to close in quite quickly. Yeah, I would agree. Uh, mediums are really quite a nice uh, tire to drive around here. As Thomas now stops, and it's going to be Lewis with Timmy for company. Timmy's going to have the outside line for turn one, but Lewis is slightly ahead and oh, defends it. But I don't think there's any damage. So Timmy's going to have DRS now for turn four, but he's not going to be close enough. That racing point very quick in a straight line. Yeah. Jamie has leapfrog Thomas, at least, in the pits. Um, and Thomas's wing damage has not been repaired. He's on the medium tyre, so he's going for the two-stop as well. Yeah, and the, the front six haven't have, have barely shifted since the start. They're all just following each other around, so yeah. hopefully they can start moving in the next few laps. Mm, uh, Milan's tyre is looking very, very much the worst of the front five. Uh, front six, rather, yeah. for wear. Uh, probably another lap or two on two's worth of wear rather around of the other drivers around him and we've got an Alfa Romeo off at turn 11 that's going to be Titchy it is Titchy <laughs> yeah still getting used to the wheel I don't think it's the wheel he's getting used to it's no traction he's getting used to still which as you will as Matt gets past the wizard down to turn one and Timmy has got himself back ahead of Ricky I think that was yeah and Ricky's he's fighting but now on Lewis as he tries to switch back but he's not quite gonna have the traction as I think he's... the mediums will probably be pretty similar to the performance of the softs now yeah so Timmy's gonna have don't... some job on his hands yeah, they are start, going to start to be uh, bringing themselves into the same performance window. He's probably going to have this lap, and then what? You maybe the next one, and then he's really that's his opportunity gone. He's going to have to do it on strategy. Yeah, I think if you want to make the soft hard work, you've got to be coming in lap eight or nine, unless uh, you want some serious tire trouble near the end. Just watching Timmy it's then. Milan has really ruined his tyres. I don't know whether that's a setup thing or I know he's recently turned off ABS, so that could have something to do with it. Uh, that might but explain the front tyres, but not the rears necessarily, unless he's locking all four of them as Milan pits. He's going for the early stop. Lewis, the first yes. man into the penalty book. And but an absolute go rocket. Absolute rocket in a straight line, that racing point. Timmy was burning fuel, ERS, and, and the DRS open and could not catch up. Yeah, well, it is. 
a track where straight line speed can be a good way to go if you're building a setup as you can only really pass down the straights hmm. around this track so if you're really trying to just get in the way and you know get some points could be the way to go so we swap from timmy then to his teammate snipes all over the back of p2 vapor Wizzy. be interesting to see what these guys now at the front do to react to milan's stop as mars gets past matt uh, oh well holds the position i think to matt that was for p12 yeah. I think if I'm at the front here, I'm not really worrying too much about Milan stopping early because he has come in fairly early for these hard tyres and if he treats them anything like he treated those softs, then they'll be horrible towards the end of the race. Well, I'll wait and see if anybody reacts. Final couple of corners here. Tom Robbers, telemetry suggests he'd be boxing where either stays out. Yep, they all stay As out. Does Wizzy. I think it's just going to be a little bit of a game of follow the leader here, if I'm going to be honest. Mm, I think if if you're Wizzy, you're going to follow Tom Robbo and maybe go one extra. Um, yeah. Snipes, I would imagine, is going to follow one of those two in front of him. Yorno might be playing the tactical game with Milan, we're not sure. Arbar will be thinking through. I imagine Arbar will stop this time around, actually. I think a lot yeah. of them will. Yeah, I think I agree with you there. The one more lap and I think the tyres will just have mm. had enough. Lap 8 is the, is the benchmark, to be uh, honest. But just to put that stop in perspective, look at the gap now between Jamie and Milan down in 16th and 17th. 2.5 seconds. Um, and if you put that into context between the leaders and Lewis, who is the de facto train the de facto trolley if you like um, yeah. that's half the gap so Jamie and Thomas coming in early there if Thomas can get himself another couple of seconds up the road that's going to have paid off for them yeah certainly so this leading quintet and then big lock up for snipes there Anybody going to pick? Snipes, oh, Snipes and Yorno and Arbar. Oh, and Snipes are very slow into the pit. As yeah, Yorno really was almost side by side with him. Was conservative on the brakes, wasn't he? Snipes goes for the hard tyre. He was That's the one we were riding with. Ball. And we've got a Haas in as well. That's Emir. Stumpy's in as oh, well. Arbar's got Yorno in the pit stop stats. Unfortunate. To yeah, say the you, least. Yorno held, I think, by Snipes on his exit. So, yeah, and people short. Snipes just makes it out in front of Jamie, but look who hasn't. Jamie's had ahead of Arba and Yorno. That early stop paying dividends for him. Yeah, look at me, wow, He's going to be maybe even in the lead of this race by the time these. Two leaders box, so if he can somehow make those tyres well, last to the end. We'll see. What are his tire what's his tire with like bearing in mind? We've got wing damage for Mars now as well, twelve percent. Uh um, will probably be on ten percent as the front two come into pit. So he'll have about ten percent extra wear in the leader. Now you say that, according to Tass, Yono is looking after those tyres extremely well. Um, although, I'm not sure if TAS has updated for everything yet. I don't think it has. As we've got a spin and oh! Who's the that? Diana has That's gone round. Uh, is that, no, not blank curve, it's turn after. Uh, as we see the three leaders now, along with Timmy, coming to the pits. So we're riding with yes. Snipes. Milan, I think, will jump them. Snipes is the man didn't get DRS off Milan that time round. Yeah, Snipes will certainly jump them. Just to Look at bow, yeah, he will. There's Wizzy. Uh, not Tom Robbo, though. He gets ahead of Wizzy. Oh, and yeah, Snipes is now. That undercut has worked wonders. He's going to burn a little bit of DRS to try and get past Tom Robbo, but that's not going to work. And Snipes is certainly playing a bit of a risky game here. He's 
burnt him his way all the way back down to 20 percent obviously he regained some in the pits but without an extra pit stop for snipes he's gonna be running on low ers for pretty much the entire race now well we'll have to wait and see i don't think it will be that bad for him he's in that drs train so he can start to recharge a little bit as long as he's not naturally slower yeah. than the guys ahead to the point where he has to try and burn some of that energy um, I think he should be okay and you were right about Milan's tyres by the way around 10% more than Snipes who is the next closest man to have stopped uh, yeah. relative to him anyway um, so and Arba has managed to get his way past Jamie but Yona has yet to do so this is really, really falling apart here for the Red Bull driver. Hopes mm. of a possible podium, and yeah, he's sat here in her net P6 and <laughs> yeah. stuck behind traffic. But I think he's gonna probably get the move done here on the Mercedes driver as he goes down the inside, they're side by side into turn two. And yeah, the Mercedes backs out and Yano's through. Yeah, so we've got our leading six drivers then back together that's Milan, Tom Robbo, Snipes, Wizzy, Arba, Yorno those guys are the net leaders at the moment the man we would expect out of this group to sort of challenge them is probably Ricky who is currently leading the race uh, yeah, the gap between is. them uh, so pit stop round here is between 22 and 23 seconds um, depending yeah. on DRS of the guys you're trying to overtake and how long you take in the box etc so right now Ricky's gonna come out behind his teammate into P15 when he stops yeah and with the two runners in front of him still having to um, sorry the two runners in front of Emir Jamie and Thomas still happens to pit again. Ricky could find himself in a pretty decent position. Yeah, as we see, time. Matt come into the pits. First of the medium runners to stop. He's got wing damage, of course, so that might be a factor. And there is going to be a wing change. And a fresh set of hard compound tyres go on to the Williams. Wing is changed, and he's away. This will put him... At, well, at the back of the of the runners who haven't had an incident. Yeah, but with some some good play here to push into and mm. some ERS to burn. Yes, it should be. It'd be interesting to see what happens um, with Matt, particularly with his battle with Mars. If Mars chooses to get his wing changed or not see what happens up at the front uh, Snipes meanwhile we missed it he's managed to get himself ahead of Tom Robbo um, yeah. uh, Tom Robbo That's, now I, trying to get back past I don't know what happened I, maybe it was a oh, mistake as oh that's Don Armo at turn 7 off the circuit I yeah, would imagine I it's happened with the Alpha Tower. I would imagine it's going to be just warming the tyres up. Um, Milan was pulling away at the beginning of that stint because he'd had the extra laps of uh, time to heat those tyres through and get through that surface layer of rubber. Um, yeah. And I would imagine Snipes is now in that range as well and Tom Rubber will be, uh, if not already, at the end of this next lap round. Yeah. That's little, Timmy. Uh, Timmy's made the move on Emmett down the main straight. Yeah, that puts Timmy up now into it's a prime position for best of the rest, as you mm. would possibly call it. It's just a shame that best of the rest tonight probably means P7. <laughs> yeah, it's certainly a, a tight race, this one, with the top six all on very very similar pace and pretty much all been in DRS for each other the entire race so. mm. assuming across we've got the wizard closing in on Mars 
hard tyres now starting to overtake the, s the medium tyres that they started on. Uh, medium's looking very, very poor on the guys at the front, particularly the two racing points. They've burnt through those tyres very, very quickly. They have, yeah. I would not be surprised to see one, I would imagine Lewis, stop this time round, if not both of them. Um, it's... why is he boy pitting first? Mars pits as well, which releases the wizard into what will be third place, and then eventually first place once Ricky and Lewis ahead of him stop. Milan, though, yeah. who is now in net P... Well, still in net P1, but net P2 once those guys stop. Um, four and a half seconds away. Yeah, and I'm looking at his tyres in the front, front left to back left, 26-25%, uh, and... I mean, I'm not too much of an expert around this track, but surely I don't think they'll be uh, at all quick near the end. I think that extra 10% that Stipes hmm. has over Milan may possibly be a deciding uh, factor. Possibly, yeah. Uh, it'll all depend on if Snipes can get himself in that one second window. Uh, that's Milan's ace in the hole at the moment. He's not got the pressure from behind with DRS. What he needs to do yeah. is try and keep Snipes out of that window until Snipes' tyres start to go off that clip as well. And last lap, Snipes falls two tenths quicker, so he is gaining slightly on that red ball as he's nearly, nearly inside that precious one second window. Hmm. Not burning from what I can tell down the straight. Just biding his time. Arbor and the Renault then looking for a move on Wizzy, but the the train is strong with these six. It certainly is, and the Lion Snipes having used a lot of ERS whereas Tom Roberts on still in 50%, so mm. Snipes does need to get himself back into the DRS so he can start recharging, otherwise he's going to find himself under threat from the Alpha Tauri very soon. Thomas has made his second stop, by the way, Joel, in the Alpha Tauri for another set of mediums, and he's going to have to go a long way on them from here. Yeah, he is. Well, 14 laps or so. That's I mean, the only man would yeah. want to go on them. I I would have thought he, his tyres would have been good for another few laps, yeah, but... The only reason I can think for that is he's trying to get the undercut on Jamie for what yeah, should be possibly. that last points paying position. Yeah, you would think, but I, I, since I last checked, Tom, Thomas was only like five seconds behind the Mercedes, so that, that is quite a bold undercut. But if we can make it work and get those points, then it was certainly worth it. Hmm. And Lewis is coming into the pits now. Ricky stays out for another lap. Ricky's now got to the point where he's going to have fresher hards than he has mediums at the end of his stint. So I'm starting to wonder, yeah. is Ricky going to go for the medium soft and actually try it? Surely not. No. I, 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 mean, I wouldn't put it past if, him. If anyone would, it's Ricky. But no, Ricky's not the kind of man to take those those risks unless he thinks he can do it. Maybe he thinks that, given how uh, Potter would be low standard qualifying for him, the only way to do it was to try something bold such as that. He's, Maybe. He's to, I highly doubt it. He'll have to go another three, four laps on. I on mean, it's, those it's doable. It's doable from where he is at the moment. Tyres not in the 70s yet. The rear left is the one that's closest. Very close, yeah. actually. But it's doable. He will be running the risk of getting a puncher. Probably looking at around, what, 80-85% if he's going to do another three laps. But Give or take, can, yes. If he can stay off those curbs and get lucky, he can... He, you may make it work. Mm. And if he's looking after them in the traction zones, then... And in the high-pressure corners, then maybe. 
he's going again. I think he is, you know. I think he is going for it. There's no reason you'd go 16 yeah. laps on that set of mediums to just to go to hards. It, he has to I be. I agree with you. Um, no, I, I, I commend him. Uh, some, we said at the start that medium soft or soft medium wasn't doable. Ricky, I think he's going to try and prove us wrong here. And I, for one, hope it works out for him. I'm not confident on that. But you never know. So this battle then for the net lead. Snipes now well within the DRS window. Um, yeah. But his tyres also approaching that point we saw when Milan started to go away from him. So Milan might have just done enough here. Especially if he can get himself within the window of the wizard ahead of him. Who still also has to stop. He's going for the soft uh, for the soft tyres of the final stint as well. I think at this point. Yeah. Yeah, Unless he stops now. Milan needs to stop burning all his ERS because Snipes is close but he's and that's Not Titchy, who's enough. gone at the final corner. This could be what Ricky needs. If this brings out Certainly a safety car. VSC. VSC. That's not the worst in the world, but it's not what Ricky will have wanted. No, it's certainly not. It gives it the guys a chance to recharge some battery power, though, if it's a long one. And is Ricky going to stop? He is. He Ricky's is. coming that's in. Bold. Uh, you, well, you know why he's Stole doing it. He's, he's got to go. He has to go to softs at this point. Yeah, I mean, he has I to. I think I possibly would have just stayed out on those hards, but. Well, Ricky's on mediums because the wizard's the one who stopped on the hards. Sorry, not the not the hards yeah. on the mediums. Yeah, Ricky My goes to softs. The That's wizard goes strategy. to mediums. So this is it then. This is where Ricky needs to make it count. He's going to get out ahead of Timmy, and that's going to be crucial. The VSC has that got is. him a big, big advantage there. Yeah, that's very, very crucial, yeah. Yep. And I just think now he needs to just be careful. As Mars and... Thomas, was that? Uh, I'm not I sure. Think I think it was just two. Mars who got one, but we can check. Uh, it was just Mars oh, who got Mars. a drive through. Yeah. Thomas got himself three seconds. Emir bullied his way past Timmy there on the restart. Very opportunistic move into turn four. And now he's acting as a rear gunner for Ricky as he goes on his charge to catch that leading six. Yeah, I don't really think he uh, particularly needs a rear gunner. He's going to have his own back covered with those soft tyres. But Ricky now needs to just be careful that he doesn't kill these soft tyres because he's going to have a little bit of a struggle to make the end. But they should be able to do it. Yeah, to don't forget. Yeah, don't forget he's had the best part of a lap um, without having to push them. And the soft tyre, of course, you can heat through in probably two or three corners if you really pushed for it. So... He's already well out of that window. Look at that. And uh, Arba's got ahead of yeah. Wizzy. Joe, we missed that one, but just caught the end of it. Arba looks like he's made the most of that VSC to recharge the battery, save some fuel. Kept the heat in the tyres as well, crucially. Got himself into fourth place. None of these guys have penalties yet. Only two drivers with... Uh, Time penalties as Mars retires in the pits, having served his drive through. Titchy, I'm imagining, got the wall glitch um, down at that yeah. final corner. It it looked like he uh, he crashed and then retired. Yeah, I know that corner is uh, very very glitchy. I've seen quite recently someone mm. crashing and. Popping off a tyre there. Yeah, in fact, if I remember right, I think Matt did it in pre season. There. Oh, Wizzy yeah, back end possibly. steps out. This could be a chance for Yorno. Yeah, the drive's not going to be close enough, really, to go for a move. No, he had a poor final corner, didn't he? And it, it's put him out of the running for that overtake. But Tom Robber having a look at Snipes towards the front of the group. 
Ricky with the fastest lap of the race. He is closing in. <laughs> he is closing in. Yeah, he is, but he's got an entire DRS train to go through, a six-man DRS train, and whilst his tyres are good, that may be a struggle for the house driver. Maybe. We'll have to wait and see. Wizard, meanwhile, has managed to get himself past Stumpy, but that's it so far. He's got the two racing points ahead of him, who've been trading places for the last two seasons. And they will not want to give one up to him. So then, let's have a look at the time penalty situation for these guys at the front. So... Milan has zero warning. Snipes has one. Tom Robbo zero. Arbar zero. Vapors Wizzy has one, and Yorno has two. Yeah. Ricky incidentally has zero. Yeah, time penalty for the top six could be a complete killer. Yeah. As Snipes, I'm just looking at his ERS now. I am. Yeah. ERS. He is not touched. That yeah. He has charged uh, so much. Milan dropping right down now to the very, very low single percentages. Yeah, and he's been there for 10 laps or so now. Ever since he put on those hards, he's just been killing that battery. But it's working. It is. Uh, Tom Robbo's well on high 70s into the 80s of ERS percentages. And Snipes will be looking to try and get away past Milan, but he won't want to go too soon. He won't want to put himself in the position Milan's in, where he has to burn to try and keep ahead. Certainly not, yeah. I think if I'm Snipes, I'm just going to chill here and maybe look to get the move done on the last couple of laps. There's no, mm. reason, to, no reason to do it now. Timmy, incidentally, has got himself back ahead of Emir, but Emir's job is done. Ricky is long gone. And it's closing up at around two seconds a lap at the moment to this leading group of cars. Yeah, and with these these little uh, holding each other up, you might say, in this DRS train, that's just going to help him out even more. Yeah, I'd be interested to know which of these front of this front six is actually the fastest, because they've all got DRS, they've all got each other in the way yeah I mean fastest is a uh, pretty loose term when it comes it's to Formula 1 there's a lot one. of variables which can mm, it is a relative term speed. I think you I mean doesn't really matter who's fastest does it it matters who's leading so mm. Uh, Wizard oh, has stopped again now. to uh, go for the fastest lap, I believe. He's put some soft tyres on. Yeah, obviously he won't be getting that that fastest lap point awarded to him, but no, it at will the be moment. taken away from someone else. So. Yeah, Don Armo, I think, is doing the same. Uh, Ricky has it at the moment in P7 with a 128-137. So one of those two guys, assuming they can beat that time, will take that point away from Ricky. Yeah, and Ricky is already in the high 20s on his tyre wear. And, you know, seven, eight laps is sort of the, the starting starting percentage when you start on these mm. soft tyres. So he's got a job on his hands if he doesn't want to... Get a puncture. A snipes, I think, could be lined up and moved here on Milan. He is. Here we go, He's change of leader then. The inside. inside of turn one, four snipes gets the car turned and stopped. Gets back through the corner. He's going to have to burn up towards turn four to try and keep that car behind him. It's Tom Rob. Tom Robbo's going to go for the dive. And uh, Milan's going to lose two places. Is he? Or is Tom Robbo going to back out of it? Yeah, Milan holds him off. If I'm Snipes now, I'm pushing hard because I know that those two are going to be fighting. And I want out of that window and then I can push on for victory. 
Yeah, you've got to, and that's Thomas in the pits. Going out of the session, and if you're Tom Robber, you've got to be thinking now for what to do. Do you burn to get past Milan, or do you just accept that Snipes is gone and chill out? Mm, well, I think the pace that Snipes is showing now, where he's pretty much out of that window already, if I'm Tom Robber, I want through. I want past that Red Bull. Yeah, and. I don't know, maybe Snipes, if he was thinking really tactically, would possibly think to keep Milan in that DRS just to make Tom Robbers' job all that more difficult as I think. Yeah, yeah Milan see. getting no DRS here, it's going to yeah. be a simple pass for the Alpha Tauri on the sister car. Gets his stop for turn one. Milan will have DRS to come back at in the Alpha Tauri. Who will not have it from Snipes. This could be his tactic, though. Yeah, and I think if you're Milan here, he's on the back foot now with those tyres reaching 60% on that front left. Yeah, he's really wearing those uh, those tyres down. I'm not quite sure how. I'm honest. Ricky's charge has slowed slightly, but he is now... He's, you can see them, he is joining this group now to make it a seven-man battle for the lead. Yeah, he is, but he's burnt a lot of the RS and Yana has still got a fair amount of battery left. So it's not going to be easy for the Haas driver. Should he come up to the back of the vehicle? No, but having started P13 to finish in P7, if that's where he finishes, that's not a bad performance. Not at all, no. Definitely it's, not. It's and solid points. Yeah, and I'm, I'm sure Ricky will be pleased given the performance in qualifying. Yeah. As Jamie gets past Stumpy there. And I think Snipes has gone too early on Milan here. As Arbar, I think he's going to have a move lined up for turn one. Dives down the inside. Oh, uh, drop the uh, yeah, I think it made a little bit of contact with Arbar there as they were coming through turn one onto the e entrance of two. And that's going to be Milan dropping behind Ricky, is it? Or is he going to hold him off? He's going to hold him. Enough. But I think the Haas driver will have a run before the end of the race. Mm. That's for sure. Uh, Milan's tyres there, letting him down. And I'd imagine his lack of ERS as well. Really, really costing him. Tom Robbo, I would say, is now the man in the prime position. He's got more fuel, more ERS. Um, yeah, his tyres will certainly be good to the end. So. Yeah, and it's... As Ricky's going to go down the inside of Milan, who's not going to make it too difficult. No, and Milan, I think, will look to get him back down the main straight. As much as it's disappointing this for Milan to be dropping back to uh, P7 from what was the lead, it's still a good performance he's put in here. It's not as if he's had a, a shocking race. Tom Robbo, yeah, though, right behind the Ferrari. The DRS off, and he's not even burning. He doesn't need to. Here he goes, straight past Snipes into the lead of the race. Four laps to go then, including the one we're on. And Milan has pitted for soft tyres. He's going for the fastest lap point. I mean, yeah, but he's going to lose points. I, I don't really understand why he's done that, but... Yeah. Well, we'll see what he can do. He might be able to get himself back towards P10. Yeah, possibly as the top three have now separated a little bit with Arba pulling a bit of a gap to the Rebel of Yona. So it looks as though our front three is relatively set. It's theirs to throw away now. 
It's just what order yes, they come so. home in. All three of these guys could win this race. Yeah, and you mentioned about Snipes going too early on the lap. I think maybe Tom Rodwell has allowed Snipes to still have a hope of winning this race if he can get a move done. However, he has pulled a 7 tenth down, so maybe... Yeah, maybe, just maybe away. not as Wizzy. Wizzy looking for a move on Yorno. Oh, elbows out for the pair of them. Yorno goes to the outside now. Wizzy will have to defend deep, but does so well and holds that position, but will now have to burn some energy Ooh, to keep him seconds. in front. For Yorno, for Yorno. that's going to put him behind Ricky. Ricky. P5. So. Mm. Speaking of penalties, just looking at the warning situation, uh, Snipes is the only one of the front runners who could come a cropper here. He is currently on two warnings. Arba and Tom Robber have none still. Um. Impressive. Mm, penalties. So. Yeah. At least none of them have come a cropper like I did last night, where it gave me a triple warning at one corner. <laughs> Interesting in game mechanic. Very much so. Uh, Milan dropping behind Matt and Stumpy. I don't know if he made a mistake there at turn 11. At uh, turn 10, rather. But. Uh, Arba oh, looking to close up on Snipes here. Renault being pushed to its absolute maximum. Arba's going to go for it late on the brakes around the outside, Ricardo style. Not quite going to have enough. Will he have it towards turn four? Two laps to go, including this one. Snipes goes defensive. Arba's looking for it. Not going to be enough for Snipes, but I saw him lock up there. He's kept it in now. He's kept it through the corner. This is where things are starting to get spicy. Yeah, certainly. That's not what Snipes will have wanted. He'll have wanted to recharge that battery so he can have a go at Tom Robbo in the last lap. But Arba making things difficult for the Ferrari. Mm, and giving Tom Robbo a little bit of breathing room. Uh, so Arba closer to the Ferrari now. Both with DRS, so it's going to be more difficult. And that's Milan that's gone at turn four. It's now gone from bad to worse for the Red Bull man. Yeah, certainly has. I think he made a bit of a mistake pitting to the soft tyres. I mean, I did see him trying to get past Stumpy. So I wonder if that could have been a catalyst for that incident. Snipes, though, right on the back of Tom Robbo as they come down towards the start-finish straight. This is it. If it. This is where kings are made. Champions are crowned. Final lap overtakes. Does he have enough? He sold him the dummy. He's going to try it down the inside of turn one. Snipes takes the lead. Is he going to have enough to defend from Tom Robbo, though, towards turn four? He's got the DRS himself. He will have enough. <laughs> wow. Not yet, though. Snipes retakes the lead. It is. There's going to be one, maybe two more opportunities. Depending on how brave Tom Robbo wants to be. Let's ride on board then. Arba's not out of this yet either. And don't forget, Snipes is one warning away from a three second time penalty. That could change the whole dynamic here. Certainly could as the Ferrari locks up into turn 10 as it gets a very nice exit. But Tom Robbo's going to have a go here. He's not going to be close enough, is he? He's going for it! He's, He's gone, gone for, for it. it! He's tried it! Nope. He's lost the back end. That should be Arva coming through. It is! Into second place. You can't blame him for having a go. No, you certainly can't. And that's going to hand Snipes the victory, you would think. It's all going to depend on the final corner. takes it well don't run wide he doesn't he powers for the line snipes takes it on the final lap arba comes home second tom robbo in third whiskey comes home fourth on debut yorno drops behind ricky who gets fifth 
and then Yorna got sixth respectively there. Timmy will come home P7 as oh, best of the rest. Stumpy's, Stumpy's dropped it on the uh, on the last third lap. To last corner. That's heartbreaking for Stumpy. MAP8. Why is he by P9? Jamie will get points in tenth. Lewis drops out of the points on penalties. Matt recovers for P12. Milan comes on 13th. What might have been for him? Uh, so fastest lap point at the... Well, no fastest lap point at the moment, but the fastest lap at the moment is the Wizard. We'll see if he can beat it. He's trying to. He does, 26.8. Um, the only man who can beat that now is Don Armo. Let's see if he can do it. He's given it everything he's got. I oh, he don't... takes it, I think. Did he take it? Let's have I a look. I saw a little flash at the bottom of my screen. That looked like he got uh, um, it. I don't think he did. No, it was a 27.9 he got. Ah, Not quite close enough. Far off, then. Yeah. Um, I think it was five seconds for an unserved stop and go that we saw oh, flash up. Okay. We saw Snipes takes victory in Bahrain after a very, very good drive. Made that undercut work early on and kept those tyres in the window. Milan went one lap too early. Fine yeah. margins then in the desert, but it's Ferrari on the top step. Arbar takes second then with that opportunistic overtake at the end with Tom Robbo trying to reclaim first place. Can't blame him for having a go. He made that move. Didn't work out for him, but he takes third place. He'll still be pleased, I would imagine. Vapor Wizzy, P4 on his full-time debut. Very good result for him. Ricky takes fifth uh, with a one-stop medium to soft strategy, which, I mean, hats off to him for that. That's a uh, spectacular Sorry, effort. Uh, Yorno, P6, dropping there on penalties behind the Haas driver. Timmy, P7. Emir, 8th. Wisey Boy, 9th. Jamie, in 10th to round off the points. Lewis, Matt, Milan, Wizard, and Don Armo were next to cross the line. And then your DNFs. Stumpy, although he's still classified, has been a lap down. Dropped it on the final lap. Thomas, Mars, and Titchy all DNF'd. Fastest lap was for the Wizard with a 26.8, so no bonus points given tonight. Just got to wait for the timer to go. Then we leave the deserts of Bahrain and return to our living rooms, bedrooms, wherever you may be. Back at home watching. And we'll get these guys in and have a chat. Um, I believe Tom Robbo is still in here from last week, so he should just be able to join. Excellent. Let's get the Ferrari on the podium. And have a look around whilst Joel's inviting everybody. I shall tweak the audio so you can hear everybody better. Because, you know, we're nice like that. Right then, whilst he's here, actually, while we're waiting for everybody to join, I'll do plugs. I'll do plugs. So, first of all, then, if you've enjoyed the stream, make sure you hit that follow button. It is very much appreciated. Uh, all the support you give us is very much loved. We do love it. We're very needy for attention. Anything you give us is 
very very greatly appreciated uh, if you want to support the cause more you can do so just make sure you follow us on all our social medias subscribe to our twitch and youtube channels and maybe head over to our merch store and pick yourself up something lovely so then P2 Arba uh, hello hey come on talk us through it it's it we were loving it that race but it was I imagine quite tense for you yeah, yeah I mean first things first shout out to it's Warner great race engineer helped me through it told me to stop using my ERS about 20 times um, but no, it, it was good. It was it was really stressful because I don't usually have the pace to like be embedded in that group of guys. I'm usually kind of trailing behind and like kind of just doing my own thing. So I, I was just happy to be there. Uh, had some like pretty fun moves, so it was it was a good race overall. Uh, I will say I was a little stressed at the end because I went for a move on Snipes like a lap too early before he got into it with Tom. But they had their thing, so yeah, I'm just, I'm just happy, man. It's been a while since I've been able to to, to have a chat to you like this. And oh, uh, hey, I've, missed I've missed it too. <laughs> uh, but uh, congratulations, about on P2. It would have been a brilliant podium anyway, but P2 is a bonus, of course. Oh, thank you, thank you. And uh, hopefully, we'll see some more of each other. I'd like that. Oh, thanks, man. Alright, no worries, mate. Great job. But who else do we have? We got Tom Robbo. Is he here? I don't think so. No. no. We just have the race winner. Well, race winner then. His car's on screen. Go on, Snipes. Talk us through it. Uh, yeah, it was a pretty sweaty race. I uh, bent my last lap of the quali, so I had to start on P4. Um, it was a DRS chain for like the most of the race, so it was pretty sweaty to keep up with everybody. And uh, I think I had pretty nice moves. Uh, and I don't think there was dirty racing, so I think the race was pretty nice. Yeah, it was uh, certainly a great one to keep an eye on and watch, uh, definitely to commentate on. Um, we saw you go for a slight undercut on some of the guys around you. D uh, was that planned or was it? Spare the moment. Yeah, it was planned because I knew I had more pace than Wizzy and Robo. And yeah, I just went for the undercut. Look if it worked and worked pretty well. Okay, great stuff. Well, unfortunately, driver of the day isn't in here tonight. So I was going to give that to Ricky. Because he managed to make a medium soft strategy work somehow. Um, and still get decent points. So just a win I'm afraid tonight but congratulations hopefully we'll see you again soon and with that we shall round off the stream for tonight thank you all at home very much for watching we hope you've enjoyed the show if you have make sure you hit that subscribe button as we mentioned earlier uh, big shout out to our supporters and partners on the Facebook group F1 Armchair fans you can make sure to head over there and show them some love uh, we will see you next week for the Australian Grand Prix on Tuesday if you want to come back and watch some more cars races you can tune in tomorrow 10pm UK time for EU1 when the real freaks of nature go and race each other uh, or if you can't wait that long you can tune in in just over 90 minutes time I think, or is it two and a half hours two and a half hours time I should look at me watch before I say things like that. Uh, 9 p.m. Eastern is the time you're looking for, and you can tune in to watch AM2. That may be here, it may be on YouTube. If you keep an eye on Twitter, they will let you know. Thank you all again very much for watching. We'll see you next week. Good night.